So what's up, everybody? Callan and Tim here with Droid Life, and uh, we're sort of doing a live special today because we have Nexus 10 and Nexus 4 in hand. So I don't know. Tomorrow's the day they go on sale, but we just wanted to do like some live coverage of them ahead of time. And uh, I don't know. We're gonna basically unbox them. I haven't even opened these things yet. They just showed up. So I'm gonna flip my camera over here in a minute, um, and hopefully that doesn't break. And yeah, we're just gonna. Basically, go hands on with these and see what see what we think about it. Initial impressions, maybe hopefully help you guys uh, decide if you want to buy them tomorrow or maybe late night. We're not actually sure when they're actually going to hit the Play Store on sale. We're hearing like early in the morning. I think some German Googlers actually been talking about it. So, uh, anyways, we got about one minute till we get till twelve fifteen, and so we sort of told everyone twelve fifteen is when we're going to start. So I want to start too early. So I don't know, Tim. What what are your thoughts now that we have them in hand finally? Well, now that we have them in hand, uh, praise praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time, man. I've been wanting to get my hands on these things for a long time, so it's good that we finally got them. Um, I'm excited just to basically see how they feel in hand. So I think to me that's going to be like a deciding deciding factor. Yeah, I mean it's you know the no LTE thing. I know is still driving people nuts. The fact that it's not going to Verizon is driving people nuts. I'm over it. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of over it too. Like I'm just excited to get a new Nexus. And exactly. And last year, not that the Galaxy Nexus was a bad phone, because I still love that phone. But I mean, like it came out with sort of a lower end processor, and you know the. I, it just it, while I had LTE, it didn't necessarily wow us. Although it did have the HD display, which was one of the first, so it had some new stuff. But like this phone, is new everything. Like the newest processor, the newest screen. Exactly. It just doesn't have LTE, so... Right. Know. Instead of focusing, I think, on what it doesn't have, I think people should be more concerned about what it does have. And like you said, I mean, it's got Android 4.2, which brings a whole bunch of new stuff that's going to be fun to play with. Yeah, the Snapdragon S4 Pro and all that. I mean, super sweet display. I think let's yeah. focus on the good instead of so much of the bad. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we're at uh, 12.15. So those of you that just joined us, we actually started like two minutes early because we are just so giddy and we wanted to talk about it. So we have uh, Nexus 4 and Nexus 10 in the building. We're just going to do sort of some live unboxing coverage and talk about them, feel, hands-on impressions. Hopefully help you guys decide if you want to buy it. So I'm going to try to flip the camera over now to desk, and hopefully this doesn't just completely break. And uh, then we can get you guys some actual close-up views here. Looks good on my end. Looks good on your end. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. So let's start with uh, the phone first, right? Let's start with Nexus 4. And uh, this is uh, obviously it's that sort of standard Nexus packaging, just like we saw with the uh, Nexus 7, um, obviously made by LG. Is it impossible to get open like the Nexus 7 was? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I prepared. I had... Oh, okay, I got, good. I got this one. Look at this thing. I mean, like, these are what? those super stickers. Like, you, oh. could, you could try to peel them, but I actually saw somebody on YouTube already peel them, and they just, like, tear the box apart. So I'm cutting this sucker. Yeah. I don't want to... I mean, I know a black box that I'm never going to look at again, but I don't want to make it ugly. It's kind, <laughs> of a, it's kind of a pretty black box. All right. That's cut. Let's see if we can wiggle this sucker out. Because remember how, remember there was like a whole video about the Nexus 7 unboxing, everyone just clowning on everyone going, oh, I can't figure this out. All right, we got that off, and uh, here it is, Nexus 4. So before we actually start talking about that, let's just look in the box real quick, see if Google threw any goodies. What's in there? Yeah, obviously just a quick start guy. We saw that leak, I think, didn't we? Or was, maybe that was the Nexus 10. Quick start. Nexus 10. Yeah. And charger, USB cable, no earbuds or anything. No hidden. No. no. What? I know, kind of weird. I was sort of expecting that, but this is not. This is LG, not Samsung, right? That's true. Yeah. All right. So the device. So this is actually my first time holding this thing, and I'm not going to lie. It feels actually pretty light. Um, you know, Tim and I both had the Optimus G, and had that for and both reviewed that. But this thing, I don't know, Tim. It feels a little bit lighter. I'm not going to lie. Well, lighter, lighter than the Optimus G. Yeah, lighter. That's I don't know. Nice. Made of the same stuff. But um, so here's obviously the back. I don't know if I can get that glimmer. No. Can you see that a little bit in there? A little bit. Yeah, a we see the glimmer a little there. bit. So obviously it's got the pretty Nexus logo. 
I got stickers I got to take off. Eight megapixel camera. Actually, Tim, do you have the specs up? Do you want to just run through those real quick? Yeah, tech specs. Nexus 4. Um, display 4.7 inch, 1280 by 768, WXGA HD IPS Plus at 320 pixel per inch. Um, let's see, 0.31 pounds, 8 megapixel back camera, 1.3 megapixel front camera, 8 gig or 16 gig internal memory, Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor, clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Adreno 320 GPU, and 2 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going around peeling off the stickers. And so if you guys are going to buy this, understand that there are little thin stickers. They did that on, yeah, they did that on the Optimus, too. It was yeah. <laughs> annoying. Yeah, so, and, the, and it's not just one piece. There are, like, four separate pieces going around. So okay, let me set those aside. All right, so I've got the stickers off. Um, there's obviously your volume rocker and your SIM card slot. No um, removable storage in there, so just SIM. Obviously, 4.7 inch display. There's your lock switch. Up top is the headphone jack. I'm so disappointed. I know, like, Google, what are you doing? What are you so, doing? You're, that's a step backwards right there. It is, too. I mean, they convinced Samsung and both of their Nexus phones to put the headphone jack on the bottom. Why couldn't they convince LG to do that? Are you sure it wasn't the other way around? Maybe Samsung convinced Google that that's the way it should be. Well, no, because Samsung on the, like, the Galaxy S3, it's on the top. So oh, you're right. That's yeah, true. That's true. Um, and then bottom is your micro USB. There's a couple of screws there in case you want to open this bad boy up. That Not, seems weird to me. Like, do you think those will ever, like, come loose and fall out maybe or something like that? I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but I, mean, I, hope. I guess you never know. I hope not. So non-removable battery, that doesn't bother me at all. I know a lot of people it does. Um, they're putting bigger batteries in phones, and they're more efficient and all that stuff now, but... Like, is, that, is that a deal breaker to you? Do you care that there's not, it's not a battery? No. Battery? Yeah, not anymore. I mean, back when the OG Droid days, when I had to do a battery pull, it seemed like every other hour it was probably necessary. But on the on these new phones, I just don't think it's necessary. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily seem. But All right, so here is the final look at the back. I'm trying to get you guys that little shimmer in there, but it's kind of hard on a Google Plus Hangout. We'll have yeah. some pictures of that later. Anyway, let's boot it up, huh? First oh, boot. yeah. First boot. Watch, it's probably like 100% dead or something. Oh, no, I got to vibrate. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it is, Google. Google. <laughs> yeah, Google, Google, Apple. <laughs> Nexus logo. Oh, I love that new Nexus logo, man. It's the so new Nexus logo. It's so subtle and sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little shine in the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is, the welcome. That was quick. That was really quick. Oh, skip the insert sim. Skip all that junk. Skip. Skip anyway. I'm not afraid. Yeah, I'm just skipping, skipping, skipping. I could set all this probably up later. Oh, this phone belongs to Kellen. Well, Woo! For now. For now. <laughs> Google services, sweet. All right, so first boot up. So Android 4.2. So this is our first time with Android 4.2 as well, right? Yep. Since so it's not an AOSP. Uh, so. Nothing's really changed on the home screen other than that sexy new clock, which we I like know. it. Yeah, the new clock is kind of cool. I, I used to use the dot clock all the time that came in the other one, but I sort of like the full circle, minimal style clock. It's kind of badass. Yep. Uh, new camera icon. I don't know why I noticed that right away, but it's definitely a new camera icon. Because it's kind of a ugly icon. I mean, that's just my opinion, but I think it's an ugly icon. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. The icon is kind of ugly. <laughs> like, what's up with that... The blue eye or whatever. I just uh, and whatever. They, and I don't think they change any other icon except that one. So right, all the others look pretty much the same. Yeah. So let's just do a quick. Uh, so oh, the big thing, the two. Oh. Two come on, finger. Come on, two finger. Work with me. No. Maybe you got to set it up. I don't know. I don't think so. Go to the go to the quick settings or something, and then no. and then pull that up, and then push that up, and then pull to it down. It should now. It shouldn't matter. I apparently <laughs> suck. Fail. Two. Maybe you're a vampire and your fingers like don't work. I could be. I could be a vampire because there's <laughs> definitely no two finger swiping going on here. But I can't toggle and there's like quick settings. It says I'm Kellen. And apparently when I log into Google Plus, that will actually populate with my picture from Google Plus. But hopefully it's not all pixelated and all that like Yeah, that. hopefully it's not. So there is a battery percentage thing in there if you guys can see that. Um, you also have your no well it says no service now, but that'll say AT T when I throw my SIM in, Wi Fi toggle. <laughs> Airplane mode. Good stuff. Let's go Good to settings. Stuff. Yeah, settings. 
about phone. So next four four two. Android four point two, and we can do the tap, and it's still Jelly Bean. Long press. Long press. Oh yeah. Yeah. So still Jelly Bean. Beautiful. Um, so I don't know. We got to give a hat tip to Android Central on this. They figured out that there's no. Well, they noticed that there was no developer settings in here, and in order to, I don't know if you guys can see that. It doesn't. There's no developer settings. So in order to get to that, you apparently have to go down to the build number and tap on that a whole bunch, and then it says oh, you are now a developer. You are now a developer, and then oh, you go thanks, back. Google. And yeah, and there's the developer options. That's cool. So then they're on. You can do all that stuff. But it's kind of cool like they're hiding that. Like most people don't need to know that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea actually. I had my mom of all people ask me about the developer options, and I'm like, no, just don't do it. Don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, most people just don't necessarily need to be in there. So yeah. Cool. Um, if I swipe up, there's Google Now. I don't have my account in here, so it's not going to work. Um, oh, lock screen stuff. So if we go to lock screen. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not on this yet. So an OTA update, Google just told me OTA update's coming tomorrow on launch day, or maybe either tomorrow or Wednesday. And it'll enable the, um, the lock screen widgets and all that stuff. So right now, it's not on there. I can't add those or anything. Um, they're also, there's something else they're going to add and totally spacing it out. But so some of the stuff's not fully there yet. Well, so maybe the update, then you'll have the two finger swipe too? No, that shouldn't be there. I don't know why that's not there. <laughs> maybe it's in the update. I just can't get it to happen though. I mean, look at that. I've tried like 15 times. Maybe mm. I have to have an account. I, I have no idea. That's mm. Um, here's the app drawer. Not a lot. I mean, there's not a lot of new stuff in here. What am I missing for 4.2 that we need to talk about besides the camera? Well, you should just open up the camera real quick anyways. I know. I'm trying to, like, hold off and, like, make everyone wait for that, but screw it. Let's just do it. Remember, photo location, sure. All right, so new camera app, right? So let's take a picture of, like, the Galaxy S3 or something. So it's touch to focus, like, always, and it sort of does that new little ring, which is kind of cool. Um, and then if you want to change settings, that's that long press. You can go up to HDR, toggle your flash, switch over to your front camera, all that good stuff. So let's go down to settings. Just want to see what's in there. You can just change it from 8 megapixels down to, oh, yeah, basically whatever you want. Um, obviously, if you take a picture, it's just the big blue button over here. You can see right there, instant shutter. That was fast. Um, you can go down here and toggle to, oh, no photosphere. You notice that? I wonder if I need to. I wonder if I need to update this thing. Maybe I should connect to Wi-Fi and see if there's an update. Yeah, I would yeah. do that. And well, let's talk about what 4.2 has to offer, basically. So when you do get that all done and set up, um, we need to talk about the see if Miracast stuff. Um, yeah, Photosphere, the lock screen, the Daydream screensavers. Oh yeah. And we also need to talk about the keyboard, since this is the final version of the keyboard. Yes, the keyboard as well. So yeah, you'll probably need to log in for pretty much all of that stuff. Yeah, well. will. How does it feel? Just I initial, like, initial, like, oh, this feels good, or this feels bad. If you look at that, it is up Oh, uh, nice. Uh, God, I love, yeah. I love yeah. you, Google. And it says photosphere, gesture typing. So I'm just on, like, the super-duper beta version right now. Of yeah. The I like how if this phone was on Verizon, you wouldn't see that screen probably for a few months. <laughs> for months and months and months, right? Uh, but while it's rebooting, yeah, it's rebooting. It, it feels really good in hand. Um, it feels sort of like a mix between the Galaxy Nexus and Optimus G. Like you definitely get that sort of more rugged feel on the side. Right. Um, remember how like the Galaxy Nexus kind of just flowed up onto the edge? This sort of has. I don't know if you can see that. It's sort of got some edges right here. Mm -hmm. Which is not that that feels bad. You can just definitely feel it in your hands. Um, like I said, it's lighter than I thought it would be. Mm. And yeah. it, that back glass, how's that smooth? It's kinda... You know that scares me so much. Yeah. <laughs> so scared about that. Uh, it feels it feels nice though. Yeah, it's just I mean it just feels like a piece of glass. It's not like you can feel the like etching on there. That'd be kinda cool to have some texture on there. I don't know. Yeah. Too late, obviously, but it would be kinda cool. I just peeled off a. I wonder if there's like a full sticker on here. Do you have oh, your? Yeah, there is. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so come on. Oh, it feels like glass. Oh wait, no, that's just a sticker. Yeah. No, but it does still feel like glass. I, well, I was just peeling that other sticker off. I was like, maybe I can get the shimmer on here now. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. It's a little bit better. Yeah. yeah it's a little bit better. It does Do look. Have... It does look pretty cool. I didn't really like the shimmery stuff on the Optimus G, but this one's a lot more subtle, I think. 
Do you have the Galaxy Nexus sitting by you? Or maybe put it up next to the GS3 too or something. Can I do, yeah. Let's get some side by side. Okay, here is the Galaxy Nexus. Oh, so it's like so, the same phone. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> it really does look sort of identical here. Um, yeah. Let's go thickness. I swear, you're the only person in the world with a white Galaxy Nexus right now. I know. I love my white Galaxy Nexus too. It's the GS1, <laughs> but yeah. So um, the Galaxy Nexus actually looks a little bit taller. I don't know if I can get that. Mm -hmm. A little taller up top. Um, thickness. I I think the Optimus G, or I'm sorry, the Nexus 4. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like it's a little thicker up top here, but then it's not going to be at the bottom because of that hump on the Nexus. Yeah, the good old guns. Samsung hump. Yeah, so here's the backs. Here's the backs. So, yeah, as far as I know, the Nexus 4 is a little bit wider. I'm pretty sure the screen resolution is like, I think it's 1280 by 768. Right. And the Galaxy Nexus is 720, I believe. So it's a little bit, I think it's a little stockier, maybe. And it's definitely a little shorter, so it's a little it's a little workhorse though. Yeah, it is. All right, so we're booting back up. But here's the Galaxy S3. You can see that. So there are well, it's bigger. You can see it's a little bit taller too, just mm -hmm. bigger, just barely. And the thickness, the Nexus 4 is definitely definitely thicker, I would say. Very nice. Yeah. So, all right, let's get that out of the way. Upgrading. Um, I am concerned about this back though, <laughs> this glass back. I mean, you know, my Optimus G broke, and I don't even know how. And I don't know if you, if everyone saw the uh, review that the Verge did, and Josh Shabalski, he he dropped he broke his, his. Yeah, his he said he slid off his desk, and right up here by the camera just cracked. Um. So, I mean, that's so two reviews out of you know the not so many in the uh, entire world managed to break this Optimus G style glass back. So that's not that's something to be worried about for sure. Do they also send along a wireless charging little dock? No. But oh. I do I do have one of those pads though. I just, oh, good. I just don't have it hooked up. Alright, so we are back up. We're on like newer version of four point two. And I'm just gonna try to do the two biggest pads <laughs> Oh there yeah, it is. victory. Oh, don't we feel dumb now, yeah. It was all about the, the Told you update. just gotta update man. Just had to update that damn thing. Yeah. All right, so let's go in now. I just want to see what the new build is. 4.2? No, but it's JOP24G. I don't, I don't know if that's focusing or not. Probably not. No, no. Not focusing. All right. Anyway, that's the newest JOP24G is what that says. I don't know if that'll be the official version tomorrow then or not. So. Excellent. All right, All right let's go camera now. Photosphere. Let's go back to this. Yeah, we need some photosphere. All right, so if you hit this button down here, there it is. There it is. So photosphere... It's going to be like impossible to do on camera. So basically, you start. Oh, wait, I have to align. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to start flat. Yeah, it's all crazy. Okay. Oh, wait, I already stopped it. I screwed that up. Sorry, people. Fail. All right. All right, now I can just sort of like go around. See, that looks so much better than the one. Oh, that like actually works. The janky version I have on the Galaxy it looks all messed up and screwy all the time. <laughs> Yeah, so let me just do that. All right, I'll stop it now. We'll just that, put that together. That looks good. <laughs> How do I view? Okay, so you, oh yeah, you can still swipe over to view. Oh, it's rendering. Yep. So that quad core processor probably renders these a hell of a lot faster than most would, right? I would hope so. Yeah, I would guess so. Right, yeah, so look at that. A, yeah, so there's a. Oops. And then click the little photo button. This button. Yeah, you should be able to kind of. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I didn't do a very big. But yeah. Inside the DL office. Oh yeah, there's DL homepage up. Nice. Oh. Outside my house. Oops, wrong button. So uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that was pretty smooth actually. Did that? That looks awesome. really, really smooth. Yeah. So we'll just toggle that back. Um, actually, did they change? I don't know. It's still just tap while you're recording. I didn't know if they added another button to take pictures while you're doing video or not. No. No. All right. So the other thing then was the new gesture typing, right? So. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, it works really well. I don't know. Is that is that really blurry? Um. Yeah, but we get it. It's not like. Yeah, it's not really blurry. I mean, you guys. Yeah, you guys have been playing with that for a while. Yeah, we can see that it works. Oh, look at that two finger swipe. It works every time now. Well, of course, it just wasn't there before. <laughs> All right, what were some of the other things? I'm just spacing everything out right now. Well, here's, yeah. the new, here's the new clock. If you guys haven't installed this yet, here's a new clock app. 
Yeah, it was forced forced closing, so I couldn't it? use it. So it's sexy new stopwatch. There's also a timer you could set minutes in here. Oh yeah, pretty awesome. It's actually a real clock now, rather than just tapping in, getting to your alarms. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> awesome. Uh, so I don't know. Anything you guys in the chat? Anything you guys want to see? Speak <laughs> now, see? or yeah, forever yeah. hold your peace. Yeah. Or should we get to the Nexus 10? Oh, Nexus man. 10 coming up next. Go to those, um, go to the wallpapers, all the same live wallpapers, all that good stuff. Yeah, probably. Go to that Nexus one real quick. Is that the one that the Nexus S? Yeah, it was back in Nexus S days. Yeah. Does it look like they changed the back a little bit, though, doesn't that? Mm. Sort of it was all, there. yeah, it was always kind of like that. Okay. And go to the static ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So all, yeah, so it's all those new ones that came out. I mean, it's all those old original Jelly Bean ones, and then it's like those four new ones that launched with just 4.2. God, that's awesome. I do love this wallpaper. I, mean, I do, know. too. Yeah. I, I use it a lot, too. Yeah. So still five home screens. You can't, like, get rid of them or anything like that, like you can with custom launchers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, is there anything in the chat you guys want to see? Compare the screens. No, the lock screen we just do not work yet. They're coming in an update tomorrow, I believe. What else is in there? Uh, do is there like Miracast settings under there? How do you set that all up? I'm not sure that's there yet either. But let me look. It might be under display. Oh yeah, wireless display. Oh, and there's that daydreams too. Yeah. yeah so under display, yeah, we have daydreams. Does your new TV support that? The yeah, Miracast. What's well, well, no, it's DLNA, and I, don't, I think for Miracast you need like a special like dongle receiver. Yeah. yeah, might I have guess. to might have to get that. Well, I'm looking right now. Yeah, see, I'm searching, and it's like nope, but I did turn it on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's that daydream thing, and I'll get my uh, my charger, my pad charger out, and we'll deal. We'll play with that later. Was that say bean finger? It definitely oh. says bean. Oh, bean flinger. A, oh, yeah, bean so, flinger. <laughs> yeah, so it's it, yeah, it's the um, the Easter egg, and you can set that as your daydream, and you can just sit there and flip that around. God, I love Google. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Google. It is pretty sweet. So yeah, there's daydream. What else did you guys want to see? How's the screen looking compared to the Galaxy Nexus? Someone is asking. Yeah, well, my, this Nexus isn't turned on, I don't think, but I'll, I'll just tell you without without turning on that it's better. <laughs> I mean, like, I use the Optimus G, and this is the same display in Optimus G, and it's ridiculously good. It's yeah. A, it's, it's an amazing display. What's the pixel? Is it 320 pixels per inch, something like that? 320, I believe, yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's, like, true IPS HD, true plus, I don't, whatever spec you want to throw out there, this is pretty much it. It's pretty awesome. Gaming's going to be, it's got that Adreno 320, yeah, yeah that's, that's yeah, coupled with the S4 Pro. It's it's yeah. it's a top of the line device, no doubt. I really wish that Qualcomm would do like what Nvidia does with their games, like get some special games uh, or something like that. But. Well, they do. They're just not as like they don't promote it as heavily, you know. And they just frankly just aren't as good. Right. I like the the Tegra Tegra games. Yeah, they definitely do a good job. So I don't know. That's sort of just a quick look live at the Nexus Four. Which you yes. Get anything else. Otherwise, let's do Nexus Ten. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right. I'll just set this aside. I'll try to be really careful and not break the back. Please don't. Yeah, please don't. I don't, I don't want Google to hate us. Yeah, really. All right, here we go, Nexus 10. Sorry, I'm moving stuff out of the way. All right. Uh, made by Samsung. Samsung, 32 gig version. Wi-Fi only on this. The crazy, ridiculous 2560 by 1600 display with 300 pixels per inch. That's just nuts for a tablet. That is that, absolutely crazy. That sounds like a selling point to yeah. me. So, oh, multi-user support is the other thing that's coming tomorrow, I believe. All right. Uh, they didn't actually put the crazy stickers on this thing, so we should just be able to open it. <laughs> that's a shocker. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the little Nexus. No. Oh, yeah, a little bit. It's subtle. I like it. It is subtle. Uh, and there it is. There is the big old 10-inch. Obviously, this is like the ultimate landscape device, right? That thing's a monster. I mean, you cannot hold the thing like this. It just doesn't work. All right. What else is in here, though? Focus. There we Focus. Go. Focus. 
It doesn't like trying to get focused on giant black slabs. Probably not. Uh, charger, quick guide, USB, that is it. Not that you should get earbuds with a tablet. But... All right, let's put that out of the way. Put this out of the way. All right, so uh, you want to run down specs on this bad boy, too? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Nexus 10 specs. 10.055 inch screen, 2560 by 1600, 300 pixel per inch, uh, WQXGA HD PLS display with Corning Gorilla Glass 2. Yeah. Uh, the weight comes in at 1.33 pounds, 5 megapixel back camera, and a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, 16 and 32 gigabyte storage um, options. CPU is just a dual-core A15 Eagle processor with a Mali T604 GPU and yeah. two gigabytes of RAM. Yeah, so that's the Exynos processor. It's the first Exynos 5. Yeah, is... I just don't like how they don't call it what it is, and they just say dual-core A15 Eagle. When... Yeah, I don't know why they're trying to keep that like secret. Yeah. It's an Exynos 5. Like They should be excited about that. And don't, and yeah, for everyone who's like, only dual core, like, I, I wouldn't worry so much about dual core versus quad core at this moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the dual core Exodus is just going to be a beast. And that new Mali 604, whatever the, the GPU is, yeah. it's going to be awesome. Um, so I'm just going to let this update, and then we'll talk about it, because I'm sure there's an update on this one, too. Maybe. Well, it says I'm up to date. You lie, Google. I know I'm not up to date. You lie. All right, well, while that's doing that, Let's do a tour. So front, I'm just going to take this off. Slide that over there. So yeah, 10.1. So it's kind of got this like bubbly sort of look to it. Um, and it's got the front speakers, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's almost got this like rounded bubble look, which probably makes it feel good in hand. I don't know. I'm not a big 10.1 inch tablet guy, so we'll see. Um, up top, though, there is your lock switch and volume rocker. There is a front camera up here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Um, on this side, that looks like HDMI, micro HDMI. Uh, micro USB on the other side, along with uh, headphone jack. And then bottom, it looks like some sort of docking port that I don't think they told us what that's for yet, have they? Uh-uh. Yeah, so that's clearly going to dock in something. So speaking of that, Google, every time they release a product, they go, check out these awesome accessories, and then you can never buy them. You okay. can never find them. They never get announced. They yeah. just kind of disappear. Yeah, I mean, like that wireless um, charging little puck thing they came out with, that looks awesome, but it'll probably come out in like six months, and it'll be $70 or something. Yeah. And we'll still probably buy one. Oh, yeah. All right, so pulling off plastic on the back. So there it is, sexy old back, Nexus logo, Samsung. It's got this soft touch up top, which sort of feels like uh, the Nexus 7. Hmm. That sort of soft touch. And I believe this pulls up. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. I have not. Ah, don't break it. Don't break it. So you can pop this off. For what? So they made, so there's like, it looks like magnet, almost like magnets right here. Uh -huh. So they made a flip cover for it. And I think oh, you can just slap. You can that's just slap how they do it. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. That'd be cool if they made different colors for that, too. You can kind of customize it and stuff. Or yeah. I guess you could just spray paint that, but still, I don't know if everyone wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, so I'm trying to get this thing back on now. Interesting. Um, yeah, so you could peel that off. I know it sounded like I was breaking it, but... Give, um, it one, give it one of those twists. How's that? Does it feel... Not the... Yeah, does it feel sturdy and all that? Yeah, it feels... Like, oh. I don't want to, like, break it. I'm not hearing any creak, crinkles any noise, so it feels better than like the, the Galaxy Tab 10.1 and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so this back, they were talking about when they sort of unveiled it that it's plastic, but it's really nice plastic. It actually is pretty nice plastic. Like, <laughs> it almost looks sort of metallic a little bit, like, but it's got a soft finish. It doesn't look really cheap by any means, I wouldn't say. It looks good. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, before we dive into, oh, there we go, software, look, here's the, uh, here's the Nexus 7. What is that tiny thing? Yeah, what is this tiny little tablet? Oh, but um, psh. Yeah. So here's the Nexus 7 compared to it. It's almost as big as it just when it's sitting sideways. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So, yeah, you can see that same sort of soft finish here that's up top there. So anyway, 
All right, let's look at software now. So the lock screen, obviously the clock's huge. I like the big clock. I like it. Yeah, and I, I think that's like the clock obviously must be adjusting now depending on screen size, which is kind of cool. Um, so if we unlock, nothing really changes there. Uh, from the home screen, so obviously this is the sort of the phone UI, right, which people do like, some people don't like. I like it. I like this UI rather than the old Tableau UI with the app drawer up there. I don't know. So you just have more apps that you can dock down here now. The app drawer is still the same. Widgets. Yeah, actually the calendar, that looks different. I'm going to put that on there real quick. The calendar has like a blue top to it now. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got yeah. a blue top. I think that's different, isn't it? I don't know. Um, it's, oh, there we go. I knew there was a damn update. All right. Of course, after I get done walking through the whole thing, we got an update. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, well, hey, if, if that thing was on Verizon, they wouldn't see that page for at least a couple of months, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, where's your Google uh, Hangout noises for that one? No, oh, I didn't know. For, the, <laughs> for, those, for those bad jokes. Terrible um, jokes. Yeah. So <laughs> while we're waiting for that to reboot, any questions in the chat? Oops. Well, tell us go. about the screen so far. I mean, well, yeah, let me wait for that to boot back up. Yeah, to your eye. I mean, is it good weight? So, I mean, for a tablet, like, it feels pretty light. It's yeah. Not, it's not heavy. I mean, I could see you holding, you know, one handed for a little while. Um, it actually sort of, the, like, back grip actually sticks to your hand. So you can, like, hold it. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip or you're going to drop it, which, hmm. is kinda, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, yeah, like when you hold the thing, it actually feels pretty good in hand. I don't know. And yeah, I mean, I'm holding it one-handed right now. It's not like breaking my arm or anything. Not yet. Not yet, yeah. Uh, but yeah, once this thing gets booted up, we'll talk about the display. Very nice. Yeah, I'm sort of interested to hear what they're going to do with this dock connector. Keyboard, probably, or something? It's, it's got to be, right? It's got to be some sort of keyboard dock. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this won't get any promotion, right? Like, Google will do a little bit of online promotion. And then Samsung's totally going to make the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Retina. And then it'll get promoted like crazy, and no one will buy this one. They'll just buy that one, right? And they'll put TouchWiz on it and all that garbage. Ooh. Yeah. So the back, do that. <laughs> the back's definitely getting, like, smudges already and just my little time playing with it. You can actually see them on camera, can't you? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're upgrading apps. Upgrading a million apps. Yeah. I'm just looking in the chat. Any question? Quick question. Yeah, the dock connector does look like it could attach to a Surface keyboard. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was thinking that, too. It just looks like one of those like quick dock things like that Surface commercial. Have you been to a mall? Like, Did you go to Washington Square and check out... I was there like two or three days before they opened. Um, oh, I checked it out over the weekend, and I was, I guess it was my first time actually playing with Windows 8 too, and I was like, oh, this is kind of awesome. Like, if my if, if my computer had a touch screen, it would make total sense. But wait, you still haven't upgraded your computer, or you have? No, I haven't, because <laughs> I've been a little weary too, just because it's not a touch screen, and I just. I, you know, I have a way that Windows should look, and I don't think Windows 8 Metro UI is it. Yeah, it, it uh, it's actually kind of cool, but I have, I mean, I use a Mac daily, so I put Windows 8 on my other computer. Yeah. All right, so the display, um, yeah, it looks really nice. I don't really know what else to say. Um, let me pull up, this. actually, I don't know if this Nexus 7 has any juice. I don't care for the long search bar on the top. I think uh, that yeah. it could have been Feel maybe wrong. a little smaller. Yeah, because you can't remove that or resize it or anything. So. Yeah, it's huge. It's almost like it's almost like a Google Chrome page, like on your home screen. It's got like the constant search bar up there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go into camera. It's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, let's do locations. All right, so yeah, Photosphere on this bad boy too. So we probably do some mean Photospheres. At oh, this thing. mean Photosphere. Yeah. Go over here. Is it capturing this at all? Yeah. Really? Yeah, a little bit. It will when I go back down. I just want to get some sky shots. Get some sky shots. Oh, get in there. <laughs> oh. I mean, it is kind of cool. It's like a game. 
like they're playing a game. Yeah. Oh, come on. So, didn't like whatever I was doing there. Yeah, you were tilting it too much. Yeah, tilting it too much. And it's, uh, uh-uh. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to use Photosphere and look like a total weirdo holding up your tab, <laughs> like, oh. Seriously? That'd be great. kind of weird. I mean, like, yes, brings that to, like, a whole new level, doesn't it? <laughs> of Someone says, yeah, Photosphere with a cookie sheet. <laughs> <laughs> That's is, funny. That's somebody, funny. Somebody just asked when the Nexus 7 is getting 4.2. I would assume soon. Soon. Um, it's got to be soon. Yeah, we're sort of thinking 4.2 has got to go to AOSP like in the next couple of days since the devices will be out. And then, um, and that means Nexus 7 will probably get it right away. Mm-hmm. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, it didn't really stitch that well there. And you, were, you were going all over the place with I it. I was. I was getting kind of crazy with it. It's kind of cool, like, viewing them on this tablet is awesome just because it's so big, but... Yeah. Uh, Photosphere is kind of cool. I can't wait until more people get it. So mm-hmm. The problem is, like, the Nexus 7 will get it, but you can't use it because all you have is that damn front-facing camera. But That's just so smart. Google is just like, yeah, we don't want to, you know, <laughs> we just have our users, like, make our services even better with using Street View and all that stuff. That's so, so very smart. No HDR mode on this. I don't know if you're seeing that. There's HDR up there on the phone, just not on here. Oh, I got you. So the camera must just suck. Well, that's yeah. Not, that's not really fair. We haven't tested it. Five megapixels. Um, same swipe up to get to Google now. Obviously, once I put my... Oh, it's... No, I don't want to talk Google. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it's still the swipey keyboard gesture on here. So that's kind of nice for tablets, I think, especially since it's not one of those split keyboards. I mean, right. have, have you guys ever actually tried to type on a tablet like this? That doesn't work. No. Uh, front-facing speakers right on both sides or just that one side right there on the right? Both, both sides. sides. Yeah, both sides. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see in this light. Yeah, there's one there and there's one right here. So, yeah, play got, something. So it's got dual sound. I don't know what I can play. Go to YouTube. Play something. Go to YouTube. Play Gangnam Style. <laughs> oh, boy. You really want me to go there, huh? I don't know. Play anything. Just... <laughs> <laughs> of course, we got an ad. That's all I ever. Oh, oh, it's whoa, it's Twilight too. Don't skip this. <laughs> oh, look at there we go. Edward taking the shirt off. I guess you missed that. Uh, this video has seven hundred eight million views now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, half of those are me. Yeah, I know they are. <laughs> right, here, full full volume. Oh, I hear the bass. You hear that? Oh, wow. That sounds great. I can't really hear it. I got headphones on. Actually, the picture looks pretty good. I know it's probably not showing up on Google+. Plus, but picture well, it, nice. it looks nice and like saturated, colorful, and clear. It's really nice, actually. I'm sort of impressed right now. This is ridiculous. I can't believe we're watching this. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta entertain them, you know? Yeah, the chat room is going crazy. Excellent. Alright, good enough video? Yeah, I'd say that's enough going on so, for one day. Yeah, so you can see it comes with Google Wallet also. Yes. That's, that's kind of nice. Yeah, because everyone's going to walk around paying. Going, eh, eh, I know. I can't wait not to use it. <laughs> yeah. So there's obviously the new calendar also. It's sort of weird to see that come baked in now when you can just download that from the... Mm-hmm. Comes with um, Earth, all that sweet stuff. It's sort of refreshing to turn on a Nexus device for the first time and see like 20 apps and that's it. No, no spam, blow. no blower, no My Verizon mobile crap on there. Yeah. There's Movie Studio. I thought Movie Studio got axed like long ago. Maybe not. No way, man. That's awesome. I thought it like went and came back and. Well, it was on your Nexus 4 too. Maybe you just didn't notice it. I did not notice it, no. There's oh, there. see, uh, can you resize that? Uh, I don't think so. Oh yeah. Oh thank. Oh thank God. You can just stretch it out. That's it. You can't actually. You can't make it, it smaller. You can't drag it down. No, that's oh, supposed to go. Oh yeah. See, dude, I can't stand that stuff. Like the OCD in me is just like that's not even or equal or anything. Like. Yeah. Sorry, dude. Can't hey, do not your fault. Oh, so we should talk notifications now. So notifications will be on this side over here. I don't have any. Actually, that's weird. You see that like popping back up? Yes. That's yeah. sort of weird. A- Apple might have a problem with that. Yeah, that's odd. Um, and then over here is where your quick toggles are. So they're on separate sides. So there's no, like, two-finger pull-down over here. No, no. no it's just. What about, can you, uh, but you can't pull them down at the same time. 
I don't know. Let's try. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh. nope. Not working. Yeah. Huh. Um, in there, though, you have auto-rotate instead of the data connection. They swap that out. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. Let's look at... Uh... So there's Daydreams again. No mirror cast. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Is this maybe this display can't do it? I'm not sure. Maybe or I'm not sure what it is that does that. So, yeah, not in there. That might be an LG only thing, possibly. Does anyone in the chat know that? Is that an LG thing? Everyone's leaving the chat. Server split. Server split. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. What else do you guys want to see? We're, obviously, we have reviews coming up. This is just sort of a first look. We were just excited about it. So. Yeah, we are excited about it. Very excited. There's NFC. There's no new Beam stuff in 4.2, right? It's just the same. Yeah, same old, same old. D don't fix what isn't broken, I guess. That's right. So the new Android version, again, on this one is JOP 24G. I believe that was the same as on the Nexus 4. Do you have another 10-inch uh, tablet sitting around? I do not, no. Of course. Yeah, of course not. Um, here's what it looks like next to the Nexus 4. Side-by-side <laughs> <laughs> -side comparison side exclusive. Side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah, let me look at wallpapers. I doubt there's anything different whatsoever in here. It's not bad. That's that's the UI, though. That's different, right? Yeah, no. Well, oh, I guess Well, it's, for tablets, it's different. No, I think it only looks different because there's only three, and usually they're smaller, I think. Oh, yeah, that could be. I haven't used a 10 inch tablet, I don't know how long. Exactly. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's interesting. It's actually just like a pop up. Like, even if I choose, like, from the gallery, it just does like a little pop up. Like, oh, no, that's nice. Yeah, it used to just take you to the actual app. Yeah, it took you into the gallery. That's awesome. That is kind of cool. It's more like a Windows style, everything. Uh, I don't know. Anything else you want to see? Uh, not. That I can. someone wants to check out the new Keyline Pi Easter egg, although I, I don't think that's possible, folks. Not possible. Still, <laughs> still jelly bean. Still yeah. Jelly bean. Um. Yeah. yeah. Oh, profiles. Oh yeah. I think that's coming tomorrow. Oh right. So it's again an update. Yeah, All right. see, it just says that it's me, but I'm pretty sure it's coming in an update. Yep. Like, yeah, see, there's no, I think right under apps, it's going to say users. Once we users. It, and it's not there yet. Gotcha. Makes sense. Once it's in security. Nope. No, probably not. Yeah, so yeah. there's going to be a separate yeah button there for that, so. Um, and you can rotate it portrait if you want to hang out this way. It will auto-rotate from the home screen. Oh, yeah, look how smooth that is. It is actually really fast, like, compared to most Android devices. Most Android devices are so slow. You got to give it to Apple on that. When you rotate an Apple device, like it's like ahead of you almost. Like it's yeah. rotating. People want you to open up uh, some web pages or something in Chrome. Oh yeah, let's do that. Give us some speed tests. On my crappy Wi-Fi. Crappy Wi-Fi. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is not the best. People, apologies. Let's go to Droid Life, of course. Of course, we're gonna go to Droid Life. Go. Oh. Go. 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 What? Maybe some Gmail 4.2, some pinch to zoom goodness. No, I don't even have my account in there. I could show that later, but I also don't necessarily want to show everyone my email. Aw. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, that there's looks... posts, which we're in live right now. Oh, that's like uh, Postception or something <laughs> like that. Post can, you, can you watch us on that thing? I that thought would, so. That I would mean, be trippy. Yeah, because it's just YouTube, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to, that's about as far as I can zoom. I was going to try to look at some tech stuff really close, but. But does it look good? I mean, it's pretty crisp. Like, it looks nice. There's definitely no pixel, pixelization going on in here. Pixelization. Yeah. You could, the, the bad thing is, though, you can see how pixelated our logo is up there. <laughs> that's embarrassing. Whoops. But otherwise, yeah, text looks great. <laughs> Remember when the iPad Retina came out and everyone was like, oh, websites aren't ready for this yet. They're probably not ready for this tablet whatsoever. <laughs> like, everyone's got to step their image game up. Pretty much. Yeah. So, no yeah, that's no more thing. JPEGs. Any other websites you guys want to look at? Any other websites? Uh, people wanted to see The Verge since it's so uh, heavy. The Verge. Who right. doesn't love The Verge? Yeah, Verge is a good site. Yeah. There we go. 
God, it looks good. Oh, go into portrait. I like their site needs to be portrait. You think so? I know so. Yeah, look at that. That's good. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, now that it's loaded, it's responsive, but it was like lagging for a while there. Yeah. Uh, Not bad. I mean, their site is huge, though. It is. It's got a lot going on. Yeah. At first, I was overwhelmed, but then I got used to it. I was just going to click on an article and actually clicked on the Foxconn suicide. I apologize for that. Let's see, if mm. let's see if we can go somewhere else. It's not. It's not really loving these taps. Mm -hmm. no, I can't actually get anything to load. Oh, there we go. Took a few. Yeah, give it time. Yeah, that was kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, that's a uh, browser. Nice. What else you guys got? Otherwise, we'll kind of wrap it up here. Unless you guys want to see some other good stuff. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, Chrome is the new browser. There's no more stock Android browser. Yeah, no more stock Android browser whatsoever. Hey, Tony. I have it. Just someone, someone said, hey, Tim. Um, I should say hi back. <laughs> so even in portrait mode, it's the separate. But I don't know if you can see they like actually do overlap each other. See that? <laughs> that works for me, though. I like it. I like I, it. Yeah, I don't mind the two things. I'm just sort of weirded out about how you can drag this thing all the way down. That's kind of weird. Back up. Uh, that's yeah, we should weird. take, let's do a screenshot real quick. Oops, wrong. There we go. Bottom well, I like that sound. That was nice. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Kind of neat. Um, I had a question about the N4. The uh, like multi-picture, can you hold down? And does it multi like snap shot that stuff or no? Oh, you mean like a burst shot? Yeah, that's I, something. I don't think this has burst shot, does it? Probably not. It, yeah, that sucks. No, no burst shot. It just kept focusing. Like I, I don't know if you can see that I'm holding. It's just focusing, focusing. As as much as like that's something I actually use from time to time when I'm using the GS3 and stuff. I really like. Yeah. The burst shot. So. I kind of do too. Oh look at that. How fast can you hit the button? Tap 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 tap. Uh, let's find out. Let's focus. No, that's, not, that's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it, once it caught up to my taps, it was good. Right. Yeah. Not bad. Well, yeah, not bad at all. It's just nice to have a new Nexus phone, man. Yeah, it really is nice to have a new Nexus in the building. It would be nice if they told me like what all these settings are. I mean, <laughs> they, oh, these must be just scene modes or something. No. We'll figure that out later. Is there a notification light? On the bottom, right? Just yeah. like the Galaxy Nexus? Yeah, it's on the bottom. And uh, I did see some settings in here for it, I thought, in display. Oh, no, it just says pulse notification light. But yeah, it does have the same notification light down there. And it should be multicolored. You can customize it through uh, that, whatever that app, light flow. So, yeah. No, this phone feels nice. Really nice. I'm excited to start using it, even though it doesn't have LTE. <laughs> yeah, oh, well. Yeah, we'll probably get over that, right? Hopefully. Already in, man. Already yeah. in. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I think we'll probably wrap up. That's probably pretty good. Good yeah. start. We gave you guys a pretty good preview, I think. These are the two new Nexus devices. They go on sale tomorrow, but it could be in the morning. It could be late night tonight. We don't really know. So, anyways, yeah, if you missed this video, actually, I shouldn't be talking to you if you missed it. You can just rewatch it back at the site in, like, 10 minutes when we close it down. So. True. Yeah, so anyway, post comments, questions, whatever you got. We'll look through those, and then hopefully we'll uh, you know, get back to them once we start doing our reviews and just sort of special looks at everything. So anyways, thanks for joining us. We're Joy Life. We're out. Peace.